good morning guys and welcome back to a new vlog starting very delightfully on a monday um i have my mum staying over last night well yesterday day we had a really lovely day with one of my kind of like my childhood friends and her mum and i took them to zephy in notting hill which is delightful i'll leave some pictures on the screen and then we took them to our favorite little wine shop um but today is a new day it is a little bit a little bit foggy outside i must admit but we're gonna go to westbourne grove and have some breakfast at delsford and just mooch around and then the aim of the game is to hopefully get down to oxford circus to go to h&m home and zara home to get the christmas decorations because as much as i would love to buy christmas decorations from delsford and harrods and all the above it adds up quite a lot and my last decoration my last year decorations were from h&m and they're just perfect lovely and i have i did collect some pieces already um from when i went to the cotswolds but also as well i do have some other lovely pieces from joe loves a little ball ball so i'm just having making a little collection um but yeah so we're gonna head off to delsford for breakfast we had a lovely chilled coffee in bed morning it's been delightful and i'm just wearing my abercrombie and fitch trousers that i've just recently bought they're so comfortable a little bit baggy on my legs so i might have to order a petite size maybe that might be a little bit more um slimming fit slim fitting converses and this bodysuit is from novo london and this is an old coat from zara but yeah hair is slicked back in oil just rejuvenating from this weekend and yeah gonna go and get some food because we are hungry looks all very familiar <laughs> but look how they've decorated it down here it's so cute I love this is what I'm going to H&M home for it's these like origami the little beetle oh so cute very sweet the little mice So this is where the the ragu book is, which I do. I think I need to get it for myself. The one, this, it's on. It's this one. I think it's that one. Oh no, it's flavor. This is a really nice like Christmas present. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Perfect. Also as well, have you seen people, watch your back before I, when they flip it like that and then they have like a candle or a uh, vase. How clever is that? You know. Love, love the little spirals. Stunning. The red candles. I might get some red twirly candles. For my little Christmas lunch. Arrived in Christmas heaven at Liberty's. It's just so Christmassy. The little buses. to 
decided to do a little unboxing whilst we wait for the Christmas tree to arrive. So, the first thing which I was really proud of is there's on Westbourne Grove, there's an Oxfam charity shop. And every time I go in there or past it, they always have one thing which is like insane or a really good bargain. So, I found, which usually I'd see in the White Company. If I can find some similar, I will leave down below. But these were three pounds. I'm so obsessed. How cute are those? And they light up. How sweet. So I think I don't I think they're different. I just thought it was such a cute How cute are those? Very, very happy with those. So just like really nice little trinkets. They'll last forever. And they're three pounds and not 20 pounds or anything like that so they were the first thing i picked up i haven't gone too crazy because obviously i'm slowly collecting things as well as i don't it's only just november so i feel like i don't want to go too mad but i picked up some paper wrapping as just a backup like as a just in case and it's like this kind of gingerbread house paper design which i quite liked and then I went for, um, I have these already, but I just thought I'd collect, pick some more up for now, just to see how it'll look. Um, and they were £8.99, and my mum got them in the green style. And I just thought they were really sweet. They've got glitter on them as well. So really happy with those. So I got some napkins, because they were just quite reasonable, and they were £2. And I thought as well to go with actually might make like a decoration in the dining room with these pieces on. I picked up some red candles. So I got these and that's what they look like. So I got all the little bits and bobs. Very happy with those. Huh? They're lovely. They're cute aren't they? So yeah, so all my little decorations are all good to go and we'll just wait for the Christmas tree. Hey mum wants me to show what she's got for her decorations so there's a shop in holland park and she's got these for the christmas tree outside how cute are those like a what's it a, a olive velvet ribbon kind of like an acorn yeah glass bauble so you've got five of those and how much were they each three pounds three pounds also as well just handy to have yeah you don't want them outside you've got these ones from arquette this like paper origami style is very in at the moment they're just so sweet and just so quite traditional in a way. And then what else did you get? You got the green cat. Oh, what kind of did you get? Oh. The green olive. Oh yeah. So mum got, mum's gone for green theme. I've gone for the red theme. It's so gone for green candles. And then you went for, yeah, this is the green collection which is really lovely and then you went for a green christmas tree can't really see it maybe i oh, might be able to open it oh yeah i won't open it full but that's what it looks like it's from our cat and it's 12 pounds so that look even if i got one the white h and oh yeah that would be lovely there. and then what's Fine. that the candle for the lint the uh, oh yeah i won't wrap it but it's kind of like the yeah and that's our little christmas haul so i'm gonna put these on the dining room table now because i've been very excited i thought they could be quite nice in the dining room yeah they look lovely there too yeah or if i got red candles or gold candles yeah i don't know play money options but yeah, hopefully my christmas tree will arrive Hi guys so a little bit change of scenery and change of hair it is actually the next day now i am actually heading off to an event i didn't really talk much yesterday because i had a bit of a low and you know what i'm going for at the moment and i just don't need to continue i'm just having a really bad week with just feeling a bit lost and a feeling a bit heartbroken but i'm off to a really lovely event today to make some reef uh, christmas release which is very lovely and then i'm heading straight back down to brighton to go and get my nails done tomorrow which i'm so excited for so these are them at the moment i think we're gonna go for some sparkle but today i'm just wearing a really lovely blouse from me and m it's like this polka dot it's got these like really lovely um details on the collar these are river island shorts you can't really see but i've got some tights and boots on and a new all saint coat which i am really adoring and i just thought 
it was a really good time to actually get a coat out because it's getting a little bit cold luckily it's not raining anymore and then just my celine sunglasses so an all black look hair up but i just feel like it's just easy and then i'm just changing my jumper um for tomorrow so very minimal with the packing as well but i'm gonna take a suitcase because i just hate lugging a big um handbag over my back especially when i'm bringing my laptop so anyway that is on the agenda so we're gonna head to i think it's called the marriott hotel um and it's supposed to be absolutely beautiful so very excited to see what it's like and to go and start making some christmas wreaths she's late she's late for a very important date da, 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 da. i started without you <laughs> look at her oh she's I a queen I, to I look like i'm about to go horse riding <laughs> <laughs> where's the pony, where's the, where's where's the pony, the pony daddy? daddy look how beautiful this is oh, i didn't actually film where it was thank you it's the new jimmy chew oh. um fragrance and i didn't think i liked it but i've had a couple of compliments oh, nice. i know you see we're going to be trying our new festive afternoon tea and then after that we'll have a bit of a fun now. it's snowing up here this is the gin room and apparently they've got more than 100 gins Knowledge. Knowledge. So we're in the library now for some afternoon tea. This is stunning. Oh my goodness. If this is not an English Christmas, I do not know what is. This is incredible. The view is incredible. So, if you're looking to go for an afternoon tea for Christmas, this is the Marriott Hotel's Christmas edition of an afternoon tea. And they've obviously, as you can see, added some complimentary Christmas decorations, some mulled wine tea, got some more like Christmassy scones, the gingerbread. Stunning. Amazing. Oh my god, stop. So pick your place. Um, they've already been pre washed by the amazing team. Okay, so we need to pick some branches. I need my scissors. <laughs> Tudor's taking the whole Christmas tree. I've got it. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll share it with you. Me. Oh, it's got boobies. Stick it underneath the wrap. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Summer's forward. Does <laughs> 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 you like my bush? <laughs> In a different location my mum and dad's home i came last night straight after the um afternoon tea event which was incredible i've actually been meaning to update you with that it was so beautiful it was at the marriott hotel but it was incredible and they had a room it was beautiful where we did the reef making and then we were in the library for the afternoon tea which were incredible for vegan and gluten free like they didn't disappoint when it came to restricted dietary requirements like you didn't feel like you left were left out they just they like, made such an effort they've actually got also a gin and tonic room which has over 100 gin and tonics my mom's my mom's looking at me like i'm vlogging to her um but it was so beautiful and i'm actually hoping to film my christmas clarence campaign there next week which is very exciting so 
it's all very go 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 but yeah i got home last night had some dinner with my mum and brother and i've been up since six editing and working but all because we are having a little mum and daughter like day which would be really lovely um i've got my nails at one and i'm going for sparkle which is very exciting but yeah we're gonna go into the antique shop round the corner from where i am where i got that lamp from just to have a check for bits and bobs and then go into Hove and Brighton for some Christmas shopping. So I thought I'd take you along for that. And yeah, <laughs> this is what I've got. <laughs> I've got an audience. But we've actually just been organizing Christmas here, haven't we? Yay. We've been organizing the decorations because I'm actually home for kind of like a long period each time. Actually pretty much most of December actually. Yeah. I'm home for the beginning, the middle for four days and then the end for like four, like four days, five days there as well. So. Yeah, I'm really excited and planning some food content here because obviously they've got the loveliest little kitchen. So, yeah, very exciting. Arrived at the Three Angels. This is a decorative antique shop. I'll leave the um, Instagram handle there. But it's so pretty. It's always so pretty in here. Oh my god, those chairs are stunning. Oh, pardon. I like these doves. Gazella Graham. That's actually where my um, what's it called from? I got a bauble from Joe Loves. Ah, look. So those are pretty as well. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, stunning. Just all the details in here are just delightful. So beautiful. Love it all in here. We're just saying about this bed. It's gorgeous. How cute. Oh, the hydrant. Yeah, that's beautiful. Stunning. 40 pounds, that's not bad. I love these. They were ha at the um, restaurant we were at. Yeah. 32 for six. That's really good. That's really nice. Those are stunning. And they move, haven't they? Oh, beautiful. This, Mum. Look at these bunnies. They look real. Oh, they're lovely. These are gorgeous. Love those. So that is called the Free Angels Hope, and it's by the Ginger Pig. If you are in Brighton or coming down to Brighton for the day, it's such a lovely antique shop, and it like literally has so many incredible pieces. So now we're gonna head off to Neptune, which is the famous kitchen place, and um, have a little mooch there. So I just want to move in. It's so pretty. And look what I've spotted already. They're like, they're like the little houses I bought from the charity shop. Oh, I like those. I love this vibe. My next little apartment, my manifest in it, is gonna be marble. It's gonna be marble. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, I love that print. A little pair. So stunning. Oh my goodness. Stunning. Christmas. Or do I get blue ones? Oh, the little baubles. Should I get red as well? For this picture frame. Like that. So the cute. Frame in the downstairs. Toilet. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. No, I like that. Oh, that was much and true. Oh, so this must be a designer because that's the print. I've got that print on my Arquette blanket. Oh, yeah. I just love how they have um Oh, I love those. Those are fun. Just different themes for each like area. These candles. So cute. Look at 
goodness. I love that. I love that print. Oh, wow. Unframed 75, framed 120. Maybe. Yeah. That's really nice. from Brighton which was a very quick trip but I am running late. I'm actually off to an All Saints dress and I'm actually wearing this gorgeous piece. I don't think you can see it very well in the light but I'm wearing this really beautiful velvet dress from All Saints. I think it does need a wash to just get rid of the first velory stuff because it's going everywhere and I'm really gutted actually because I just quickly sprayed with perfume but I forgot to put this one on and I got so many compliments the other day when I was wearing it and um, so I'm gonna put that near my makeup drawer just so I know it's there and to make sure I wear it because it's so lovely um but anyway yeah I'm wearing a really beautiful dress from All Saints with a All Saints belt my first belt ever <laughs> it's taken me a while to get a belt it's taken me 26 years um but yeah and then Excuse, this is like the PR dumping ground, but I've got these boots on which are really gorgeous and a really nice height. So fingers crossed that they are comfortable. And I'm just pairing it with a All Saints coat. And I'm just putting it on. It's just a really nice black coat. I'm gonna put it over my shoulders when I get nearer to the place. But for now, I'm on a mission to go meet Tula and Carl, because I'm going to go to the event with them, so I'm going to, or wing man, go, um, I'm going to, what's it, third wheel them. But yeah, just a really nice casual black look, Chloe bag. Um, I'll do a try on a haul with All Saints later because, oh, very excited for this one. So yeah, really excited to show you what I've got. But for now, I'm going to be running late. I actually did have a headband, but I think with the dress, I think it was going to be just all a little bit too much. So I'm just going to leave the headband and maybe do some styling with it. But um, yeah, I'm actually perfectly on time to leave. So I'm going to run out the door and I will catch you at the event. Personalized. I've gone for the Billy, this one here, which is kind of like an oversized. Oh, that's it. And I'm getting done. I'm getting this done with an A and a half. I thought that'd be quite cute. So that's the vibe I'm going for in the men's section. Oh no, I love that. She's so cool. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I feel like that's different. That's really nice. Repping All Saints. Cute. Bye guys. Good morning guys. So, oh, it is Saturday now. I've had actually a really lovely little morning. A productive, I've done a bit of work. I'm just gonna close the blinds because we do not not we do not want the whole world to see me but yeah last night i had a night in which was delightful and i've been manifesting my new dream little home obviously with unfortunately laurie and i breaking up i have decided to move in on my own i'm a big girl she's growing up um <laughs> and, and i just think it's best for me and my work and just me as a person like love my friends so much i adore my friends i adore um sorry my doorbell just went um i love my friends so 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 much but i do love my own space and i have really enjoyed having the space to myself and i thought about having someone maybe move in but just the the layout of this place it doesn't really work so i'm planning to move out around 
February, March, not too sure where, currently in Holland Park and I just absolutely adore this area, but my bank card doesn't. Um, it's stunning and an incredible apartment if you are a couple. I wouldn't actually say to like share it with a friend, I think like you need this, this would, this would, this room is classed as a bedroom. Um, so yeah, so it needs to be like a couple or living on your own. Fillet is the best. I absolutely adore this house and the garden is just phenomenal as you may know. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm moving out. So last night I was just doing a little bit of manifesting, Pinteresting what my bedroom's gonna, my house is gonna look like. Don't know if I'm gonna rent or buy, depending on what my income says. Um, but I mean, I'd love to buy, but maybe it's just a little bit too soon. And yeah, so I'm gonna move in with, on my own, kind of like southwest way. So hopefully, maybe around here, Fulham or Clapham again, which I really do enjoy. I actually spotted a wine bar last night and sent it to my friends. So um, I feel like. I feel like I'm manifesting that and um, I actually got in contact with my old builder from the house I lived in in Clapham just to see if he's got any places he's renovating ready for February March. So I'm just putting my little self out there and seeing what happens um, and just kind of be organised if that makes sense. But anyway, I thought I would do a try on with you with some of the All Saint pieces because they are absolutely stunning and I'm sure you saw the black dress I wore. That is stunning. I got so many compliments on it, if I do say so myself. Um, it was so comfortable. It was just such a beautiful piece and I'm very obsessed with how I looked in it. Um, I felt really mature and like confident in it. It's a dress that I usually wouldn't be so um, drawn to be wearing because it's quite tight, um, high neck. So that kind of like emphasise your chest, which I don't like, and a belt. So very different for me, um, but I also kind of got some other pieces and I also got to personalise a leather jacket there. So we're going to do some styling, some try-ons, ways to wear, I'm also going to film it for a reel. And then I am actually going to film another video for YouTube, which is going to be five winter or five winter outfits that I've been loving. Um, so it's a bit more of a natural style of content, kind of like a vlogging way. Um, but just pushing some fashion content separate to vlogging content. But I, do, I like to do a mixture of both. Um, but anyway, I am rambling. I just did my makeup on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I try to do every week like a get ready with me. And this time I did it in a sense of sharing kind of like three to four new things that I'm loving. And I tried the new um, by Terry well, for me new, Hyaluronic Acid Press Powder. Oh my god, my eyes. And I'm using, I've used a cream. I'll actually do it on here later, maybe like a top up when I'm getting ready with Molly. Um, incredible. And yeah, my hair is feeling super fresh and curled. I put a mask in it and it's just feeling super healthy. So yeah, so I'm going to stop rambling because I've got a lot to do before my darling arrives. So... I will catch you with some clothes on. <laughs> okay, so first up is this Velour Velvety Maxi Dress. I got it in a size 6 and it is perfect. It is quite a tricky one to get in and out. Also as well, I would recommend washing it before wearing it because the, um, the, fabric, the Velour fabric stuff does come off. However, it is so beautiful and so comfortable. It is a really lovely dress with a lovely skater edging at the bottom and beautiful puff sleeves. It does have kind of a layer in the body bit, so it's a bit comfortable and it's not see-through. And yeah, I really love it. It's got some button details at the back there, so I'm going to go and put this on. So this is the dress on. I will leave a side panel of what it looks like full length because I can't go any further back. But this is the most perfect Christmas dress. I'm really gonna try and push this out um, next week whilst it is Black Friday, but definitely still try and get your hands on it because it is the loveliest. I'm a size six, like I said, and I'm a 32 double D on my boobs, but I think I am. Um, and it is so comfortable, it is so beautiful. I did actually, I did roughen it up with this belt from All Saints as well. I absolutely love this. I got it in a size, does it say a size small? Anyway, really lovely details. Um, and it kind of just gives a bit more edge to the dress. And it is adjustable, so it has two sides to adjust and then 
to adjusting it, which is really lovely. And it's just such a nice classic statement belt to put on with any dress, any outfit, just to really hug you in. I'd say it's probably more of a dress belt, but I just love how it cinches me in and it just gives a bit more drama to the outfit and just roughens it up. I absolutely love this dress. I feel so comfortable in it. It's not too tight. It's floaty. With the heels though, I wore these boots, which are also from All Saints. However, I definitely wear like pocket socks with them because with the skirt, it kept dragging it down. So I think I might try and style it with some heels. Um, I'll show you with boots on and with the heels. But yeah, really love this. And also, which I did, something that I did intend to wear was a headband, but I didn't know if it was a bit too much. So maybe I'll do some styling separately along the headband. But how cute is this? I feel like it's really lovely to either invest into one really lovely dress for this season or um, because as well you can wear this throughout winter, which I think is lovely, um, or into party accessories. So I picked up this, how beautiful is that in the light? This is from All Saints as well. And I just thought, I need to take the tag out. It was just such a lovely, such a lovely headpiece. How lovely is that? And you can either put it so you've got your hair at the front or at the back like this. How cute is this? It's so lovely, I do adore it. And it's just like a really lovely Christmas look um, and it just feels very lovely. So really happy with this, super comfortable. I also wore it in the evening with this coat from All Saints as well, just a classic coat which is beautiful, absolutely adore it. And I just paired it over my shoulders, an all black look, you can just, you cannot go wrong with, and a black bag. Um, you could also do like a statement bag as well, like a red bag or a pearl bag, just to give it a bit more. Actually, to pair with the studded belt, I could go with the studded Valentino bag, just to go with it. That just gives a bit more of a Christmas look. I could do a red lip as well. I think that would look absolutely stunning. Some boots, some heels, even some flat shoes, like some flat boots. This would like to I'd like to roughen it up a little bit more. Classic outfit, which is timeless, and you're gonna get so much wear out of this dress. I can see myself wearing this so much. I think this might be my Christmas day outfit because it's just so beautiful and so comfortable um, with the belt as well and yeah, have a bit of room for all the Christmas mince pies and puddings. Um, but yeah, really adore this look and I really loved wearing it. Super comfortable. Also, the layering, also what I was trying to say was the dress has a lining underneath, like a black silk one. So super comfortable. You could wear some tights with it as well to keep warm. Yeah really happy with this look so i will leave everything like usual down below in my sizes okay so i ended up doing a little red lip with the bag and oh, i'm obsessed i have my christmas day outfit ready to go i've never actually organized a christmas day outfit usually i just wear something um off the rack no um usually i just wear something like a jumper or like something really casual but i feel like i really want to make an effort i absolutely love this outfit i feel so snazzy in it absolutely adore it and this coat is just so comfortable and i will say it's really good for one of those over the shoulders looks because it has quite um a good structure so it really holds in place even if the wind tries to blow your coat off um but yeah i really love this look and the red lip the red lip is a classic i'll show you actually what i use if you've been following me for a while you know about you'll know about this little number so as a lip liner i'm wearing the lisa eldridge this is a morning and it's kind of like a really nice like coral like a coral red so it's really soft so it's a really nice like buildable one like it's versatile so you can wear it with a lighter red or a bolder red and then i've got my trusty this is the clarence velvet lip perfector in the shade 03 I mean, it's like a super perfect, if you're looking for a bold lip, you definitely have to have a lip liner. You definitely, definitely have to have this product because it's super creamy, super blendable, buildable, and yeah, it's just quite nourishing. Some bold lips can be quite drying, um, where this is so creamy and lovely, um, but not over too creamy, like it's doable. But yeah, 
really loving this i think it's lovely and also as well with my hair brown it's weird seeing me not super blonde with a bold red lip but um yeah i love this look even if you don't know what to wear at christmas or going out or anything like that just to accessorize yourself just add a red lip because you just cannot go wrong it still makes a statement yeah really really loving it and absolutely obsessed with these products i'll leave them down below so next outfit okay i've just I've just styled this outfit. The headband. This headband is so comfortable. I feel like, I don't know if it looks too girly with like really curly hair, um, but it's just so lovely. It's quite hidden as well. It just gives that bit of glam. Or, I know I need to like look in the mirror properly, but just like back off my face. Just so nice. But yeah, I think I need to do like straight hair with it. I think curly hair looks a bit too done up i don't know let me know what you think but oh my god love the hairband but this is the i feel like this haul is very i'm very ready for the season ahead this is so cozy i absolutely love it so if you saw the totem and then the mango jacket and then also as well it looks like the silk the quilted ones then you are in for a treat because this is incredible i'm wearing a size a and it's a very good size for me i absolutely love it but then pray to god i'm wearing all black that the cream doesn't mold on me but yeah it turns into a snug fest <gasps> if it's raining so if you take this out and you're like oh it's raining <laughs> you can reverse it so it doesn't damage but it's such a good piece for this time of year if you're wanting to invest into a coat. The reversible leather. Oh, I actually haven't molted. That's a good sign as well. The shearling doesn't melt. Shearling doesn't molt, which is quite good. But I, I want it mainly for this side. But when it rains, it's okay because then I can just reverse it. But I absolutely love it. It's such a times beautiful piece has some black buttons and I really like the swiggly patterned detail on it as well. Absolutely love it and I've just paired it with, I'll leave it aside here, um, just a black turtleneck which is from Novo London. These shorts are from River Island, very comfortable. I don't know if they're still in stock, I'll try and link similar. And then I've just paired with the um, All Saints boots which are quite similar to the Bash ones. Um, but yeah, really love them and really like cool and slouchy. This outfit would look really nice as well if with some like polka dot tights or some glittery tights. Yeah, just a really nice easy outfit. The coat does all the talking and yeah, really comfortable and I absolutely love it. So this was like a different style for the party um, look. But yeah, I really love this coat so gorgeous and it's in the sale at the moment hopefully it still is i think also it's doing 40 percent off so instead of being i mean be prepared with the price i'm about to tell you it's 999 pounds but it's in the sale for 600 so run 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 because this if you're looking for a christmas present or to treat yourself or to like invest in with your mum like or friend or sister like me and my mum do that sometimes where we buy something together um yeah this is such a beautiful piece okay so the final piece that i have styled is the leather jacket which i kindly was gifted at the event and then i kind of got to do some personalization with the artists there i went a bit minimal and i wish i went a little bit bolder but i do love it and i just think it's a lovely little touch it is so i should have actually done it on this side i don't know why i did it i should have thought about it carefully and um, but i have a little heart tattoo on my wrist so tula came up with the idea of doing an a and a heart which is very cute so i picked out the this is the billy leather jacket i like the length of it it's really nice and long also a really lovely piece to put over the shoulders like i did so to kind of roughen up an, a, a, an outfit instead of wearing a blazer the quality of this leather jacket is incredible it is like butter i mean all saints is known for their leather jackets that's what they're heroes for yeah and they do not disappoint they are super comfortable timeless and yeah i absolutely adore it like i said i like the length i think this is a bit more me and i've just paired it with this is the this room going up is more of an outfit which is like what you can dress up with your staples so 
white tee, some jeans, paired with a leather jacket, the dazzly diamond earrings and some heels. I feel like that looks very cool and then I actually styled it with the feather bag. I just thought this was a really nice easy look to wear um, especially if you were going from the office to a dinner party or an evening out. It's just really nice, really comfortable. Looks chic, I must say. Um, but yeah, really happy with this. These pads are from Zara. This top is very old. My usual white top is actually in the wash, so I had to wear this one, which is a little bit grey now, and I'm annoyed that I don't have my other one because it looks a bit so much more classier. Um, so yeah, that is the outfits. I'm gonna have a quick bite of lunch um, and charge my camera before I get on to doing five autumnal five winter outfits yeah i will leave all these pieces down below i absolutely i'm obsessed with all the pieces from all saints i literally feel so so spoiled right now um and they are just so comfortable so thank you very very much to all saints for kindly gifting me gifting me these pieces i have been drawn to them i feel like you know when they're good pieces when you instantly are drawn to them and instantly want to wear them everywhere um so yeah so a little bit of lunch and then i'm gonna crack on with some filming and then i'm gonna sort the house out zhuzh up and have some bubbles with molly when she arrives before we head out hello guys it is a little later now i haven't actually left the house today that is concerning <laughs> um but i've actually just quickly gone and got i'm trying on outfits currently but i also got distracted because i went and grabbed some christmas decorations from my vault which is like underneath the stairs and i found so many christmas bits i'm so excited so first things first which i'm really thrilled about is i have a fake tree but i forgot that is it going to focus that joe loves actually kindly sent me a scent last year is it going to send there we go and it's a christmas tree so that is perfection and then i only thought i had one set of these um christmas decorations but i have two which is incredible so now i have three boxes of them which is amazing and then i found some mason francis kerkadajan um candles this one i don't know what that one smells like but i have two of them which is really sweet so i've got pom de amour and then i have the pair de epri so very happy about those and then in here i've got loads of old um clarence christmas crackers which i thought would be quite nice to decorate i've also got some which i still haven't opened um also found my like snowflakes that i usually kind of put around the house and then these two from helena and my old house we got a little oyster and a little champagne bottle um which says cheers on it so I'm very happy with that and I've got all my little decorations all ready to go here for when the girls come over. So yeah, so it's looking a little bit messy but we're getting there. And then tomorrow I've got the girls come in. I actually also, let me just quickly pause the music. I also actually, look at this, I've got this all set up. How cute am I? Um, so I've got the red candles out and look how cute the little houses look so cute i love this like little theme here i think that just looks really sweet so it's like the heaviness goes around the room and then it's like light, subtle in the middle um the wreath i made i don't think i actually showed you <laughs> me planning my attire for tonight um i don't think i actually showed you this but this is the wreath i made the other day and i've actually just used it i saw, saw my um candle jar that i made had from last year this is actually from tk maxx and i thought actually that looks really lovely like that um so i'm gonna play around with it tomorrow and see what i think but for now that looks very cute i've put a bow here for now as well i'm just getting very creative i've changed my faux i had some faux neptune flowers in here and i've actually swapped it for some a bit more seasonal um greens so we got some eucalyptus and i think this is a, a part of the eucalyptus family as well but not too sure and then i have a candle from nest i mean a diffuser which needs flipping and oh my god it's just the best smell ever i actually should put it that way so yeah it's so looking all christmasy i've got candles going champagnes in the fridge these baubles can go in the other room so excited this is an outfit that i might be wearing today i do really like it 
it's very pretty. I feel very sweet in it. However, the trousers, I need to get Molly's opinion. They are very baggy on me, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if they've stretched or it's the style. I'm just not very used to it. Um, so we'll see what she thinks. But I do think it looks quite cool and um, a bit more... And like a very cool vibe. And then this is the top from River Island, which I just love. I feel very sweet in it. Um, so I'm going to get her opinion and see what she thinks. But I do love the leather trousers with it. So we shall see. Maybe she's brought her own pair of leather trousers that I can nick. Um, who knows? But yeah, so. Yeah, style-wise, I'm thinking about either this. Got Ugly Betty on in the background. This with the leather trousers and the heels. Or I'm going to wear jeans, everything black, and then red. wear a red lip and a red bag. Who knows? Um, we'll see when Molly gets here. So I've got everything laid out, coats ready to go. I was just actually moisturising um, my arms because they're super dry. But um, yeah, I'm just ready for champagne, I'm not going to lie.